Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the grocery prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. That's as we come into Walmart, checking out some of the produce here. Some of these prices could be a little high here at Walmart. We noticed this the last time we were here. $3.92 for a three pound bag of lemons, $4.98 for a four pound bag of oranges. Pretty high for Walmart. It looks like we got single lemons here for 58 cents a piece. Mangoes though, $1.94 each. That is crazy, $1.94 for one mango. Oh, this is interesting. They have one pound package here of the long stem strawberries, $8.37. They have these organic strawberries here, 12 ounces six dollars and 97 cents am i at walmart here what is going on we've got some organic blueberries here this looks like one pint four dollars and 96 cents uh, these are some organic options but my goodness still seems very expensive check out some of the grapes here grapes have been pretty expensive too lately 248 a pound for green grapes and red grapes ay 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 five pound bags of the cutie mandarins here for six dollars and 98 cents that is a rollback offer regular price on these now is going to be 7.98 that is oh man 4.48 right now for a three pound bag three pound bags of pink lady apples 4.77 and the jazz apples here I haven't seen these in a while 4.68 for a three pound here they say the, okay, yeah, Honeycrisp Apple's still on a rollback offer for $5.46 for a three pound bag. Normally $9.32. That would be more than Meyer. Meyer regular price, $8.99. $9.32? I'll tell you, it's like we've been saying, guys. Walmart meat and produce prices are just getting ridiculous in regular prices but we're going to check out a lot of the different things to stock up on i just wanted to see if any of these prices have changed looks like a lot of them have gone up we've seen onion prices kind of come down a little bit in some other stores not here at walmart three pound bag three pound batch of sweet onions should be the cheapest 398 for a three pound batch still 328 for the red onions uh, and that is three pounds uh, $3.58 for the three pound bag of white onions. Three pound bag of Gala apples, $3.86. We did see this in Indiana when we went to Walmart out there. That is up from $3.54. And the Granny Smith apples are still the same price. I don't know what's keeping these down, but hey, we'll take it. $3.56. I don't know if this is a rollback offer, but look what the price was before $6.84. Heads of lettuce here are $1.74. $1.49 regular price at Meyer. I don't know what's keeping these prices up on produce and meats here at Walmart, but something is. $1.74, that is just, whew. they need to seek out maybe another supplier or something. Um, some of this is organic. I don't know. Yeah, this isn't organic. That's conventional, I believe. I believe here. Boy, they're pretty small too. Product of the USA. See anything on here that says organic? They do have organic lettuce right here. This is the organic. 386 for these. Wow. Well, as to where we've been seeing peppers pretty much go up everywhere. We see where they are a dollar eighty-nine a piece now at Meyer, which is crazy. Still a dollar fifty-nine a piece, I think, at Kroger. Dollar forty-eight for one here at Walmart. That is up from a dollar thirty-eight crazy okay over off to the side i did find one pound packages of their strawberries here the good farm strawberries conventional product of mexico three dollars and 63 cents still high for walmart i don't know we did see them at meyer the other day two for five 449 regular price at meyer for one package but the, you know that's why we talk about buying up the sales as you see them so we don't pay prices like this well, to answer the question on the channel, uh, yes, our bright prices did go up too. We saw this back in Indiana a couple weeks ago when we were visiting that store. Went up here too, $1.42 for great value bread. That white bread, that is up 
from $1.32 and the honey wheat bread here, which probably we get the most comments on the channel, went up 10 cents as well. This was $1.78, now $1.87. Switch these two numbers around. That's what it was. $1.98 now for the Texas toast. That was $1.78 not long ago. Then we have some of the whole wheat here, $1.97. Sheesh. Well, it looks like we have a rollback offer here on the Thomas Bagels here at Walmart. $3.76. That's not a bad price unless you can find like a buy one, get one deal. But this is what the regular price went up to. Somebody didn't believe me on that. $4.18. $4.18 is the regular price without the rollback offer. This must be a serious manufacturer's deal for Walmart with Sara Lee bread because, yeah, this is pretty cheap. If, you're, if you like the Sara Lee bread, which I know we have hundreds of people on the channel who do, this is the cheapest regular price anywhere. They got the butter bread here. We get comments on 282, 293 for the honey wheat. And yes, these have gone up too. I know this used to be 278 as well, but you know, they're up to four dollars or more in some stores. So for a regular price, this, this is still pretty low. I was just kind of walking by this. I remember somebody was asking if I see any deals on healthy choice. I did point this out the last time I was here. Good regular price on these, $2.77. Uh, 3 dollars now at Kroger, so regular price. And it's rare we'll find deals here, but for regular price, two seventy seven, dollars yeah, that's a good deal. Somebody was saying they love these Tillamook uh, cheese meals here. Got the classic cheddar, sharp cheddar, and uncured bacon. I don't know how much these are anywhere else. I rarely see them anywhere, but they're $4.43 here. I know Tillamook is pretty expensive cheese, so I don't know. I'll try one of these at some point. We have a lot of people on the channel that love this... Uh, peanut butter right here it's four pounds i think yeah four pounds 64 ounces of peanut butter great value five dollars and 98 cents used to be 4.98 it's gone up a dollar over the last year or so uh this one says it's good until january 21st 2025 so you have about a year on this to go through all this peanut butter 5.98 i mean today's prices that's still not bad and it's great quality so if you're looking for Bigelow tea, you may not want to get it at Walmart. It has gone up to $3.34. Ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, I mean, $3.59 or, yeah, $3.59 at Meyer now. $4.29 at Kroger regular price. But they have these on sale for like a month uh, at Kroger for $2.99. So if you're one of the hundreds of people that drink Bigelow tea on the channel here, get them at Kroger. Someone was saying how much their Folgers decaf has gone up in price, and yes, it has. Uh, it keeps going up. Uh, Kroger's still twelve forty nine though. Kroger's twelve forty nine. We've been seeing it go up at some other stores though. One thing I will say is for thirteen forty seven, you're only paying a dollar more than the one at Kroger. But the one at Kroger is nineteen point two ounces. This one is twenty five point nine ounces. So you're getting way more here for just a dollar more. It's a good deal. Oh, I noticed great value Colombian coffee actually came down four cents. This was nine ninety six, now nine ninety two. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. Any amount we can save these days. Mick Cafe here twelve ninety eight. We've seen this same thing thirty ounces. Yep, thirty ounces, same thing. Regular price at Kroger sixteen ninety nine. So you save immensely here at Walmart. I saw this deal here on Tim Hortons, uh, thirty or seventy two count. $31.98. That's a good deal. I'll tell you what, I do feel like uh, some of the prices here on coffee are a little better than you're going to find at some places. Uh, Sam's Club, Costco is going to be probably better deals in the long run. You do have to buy a little bit more, but uh, you know, like these, these little ones here, these have gone up. A lot of the Keurig cups have gone up. These were $15.98, now $16.47. These were $3.98. We saw them go up to $4.28 and now $4.47. So these keep going up in price. Uh, again, you know, we're expecting coffee prices to go up even higher. We've seen some like Cafe Bastello and some other ones go up lately. So if you find a good deal on it, you might want to buy up a few. You know, I have a theory why these Idaho and dehydrated potatoes never go on sale anymore. More and more people are stocking up on these things. People are buying them up because there's something you can keep in your cupboard for a long time that doesn't go bad. You know, I mean, I go bad eventually, but... $1.44, and it's weird to even say this, but $1.44 is the cheapest I've seen on these in a long time. But everywhere else is $1.50, so is it worth the gas? 
And I saw I saw a low price at Kroger's the other day, and it said a dollar fifty. That's exactly what the regular price is. So, just wanted to point this out because I do believe that's what's going on because of the times and everything. You know, everybody worried about food and shortages and price increases and stuff like this. These are getting bought up. I guess the nice thing about it is they keep coming in. They keep they're well stocked on them. So for a dollar fifty a bag, yeah, you know it's it's pricey, but. At least they're coming in. Um, regular price on the Nor Pasta sides here too. I bet these are getting bought up a lot too. Uh, always see plenty here at Walmart and Kroger. Meyer seems to be low on these a lot though. Kind of proves my theory. But a dollar twenty-eight better than a dollar thirty-nine. But again, it's rare we'll ever ever see a sale on this though. We wait until they're like four for four or something at Kroger where we can stock up on these at a dollar a piece. One of our longtime viewers on the channel. Uh, always ask about these Hormel meals here, these complete meals. They do have the Denty More too. Still cheapest regular price, okay? Two twenty-eight, but they did go up four cents. They were two twenty-four forever, but we see them for two sixty-nine to two ninety-nine, pretty much anywhere else. So just want to point out these went up four cents, but it's still a price increase. Still the cheapest to get them though. Unless I was having a big party or something. Or, you know, I mean, you can, like, can these things, you know, if you save a little bit and you got some extra mason jars or something, you know, you can store these away and stuff. I just like looking at them, these big, huge cans of tomato sauce and Van Camps. That's hilarious. That is enormous. Got some huge things of mayo here. It's just fun to see these cans. Look at this. That is a big can of uh, tuna there. $13.98 for that. Wow, good deal here on the honeysuckle turkey breasts 98 cents a pound yes they are i wanted to look at a tag just to make sure it wasn't for the turkey that is that is a great deal 98 cents a pound that's amazing so i wouldn't say plenty by any means but they do have more spaghetti great value spaghetti than they had the last time i was here also dollar 92 is up from a dollar 88 to the two pounds i noticed so less than a dollar a pound and uh, just the oh, they don't have any of the the one pound packages, just the two pounds. Here's a four pound package here of spaghetti for three seventy six. So save a little bit more. Great value spaghetti is good. It's just I'm I'm surprised they even have it in. They got the half length right here, ninety eight cents for one pound. Now we've been seeing cremette pasta go up everywhere. Dollar fifty two now. Dollar fifty two. What is this? 32 ounce okay 276 for 32 ounce dollar 52 for the angel hair like i said this was a dollar 38 or dollar 34 uh, i wonder if they didn't change this yeah okay probably didn't change that sticker yet but yeah it was a dollar 54 now a dollar 52 dollar 69 regular price at kroger we've seen it on sale for a dollar 59 which was up from a dollar 50 i'm telling you guys these prices just keep getting out of control Okay, so checking out the eggs here for a minute. Some of these aisles are getting a lot of people here today. $8.34 for the 60 count eggs. Now that's down from $9.22 that we've seen it go up, but I'm thinking that they did not change the sticker on this. I think these are actually more than $8.34. Let me know down in the comments if you know. The reason why I say that is because we see where 12, 12 count eggs went from $1.90 to $3.12. Yeah, see right here, $3.12. Oh my goodness. Somebody said in the comments that eggs were going back up. You're not kidding. That is crazy. That's really expensive. $3.12. Jeez, I wonder if they're going up at Kroger and Meyer also. We're going to have to check. I noticed one of our regular viewers was talking about this in the comments. I saw you leave this a couple times. I wanted to check, make sure our Walmart went up too. Boy, they did. Heavy whipping cream here. $5.67 now. $5.67. We saw this go from $4.98 to $5.28. To 567 just keeps going up guys I don't know well this is a little unusual lots of empty spots here on Welch's just saw this here kind of stuck out like a sore thumb used to seeing this completely full a lot of minute made missing here they got plenty of the simply um, they got you know a good amount of the cartons but geez usually this is completely packed in Lots of the teas and stuff missing. Some of this up here. I don't know. It's crazy looking. Well, for a regular price on the biscuits here at Walmart, I almost said Sam's Club. 
guess that would be the deal here. Get a two pack for five sixty eight because you're gonna pay three twenty four. Somebody was asking about these, but one I wanted to point out, Walmart went up. These were dollar seventy eight. Another item that was a dollar seventy eight. Switching that, I think like they just felt like turning the numbers around. But, I mean, these are good and dollar eighty seven still better than better price than um, the Pillsbury, but another price increase. I will say the best prices on butter are going to be here at Walmart. Even though their butter is $3.98 and it's gone up over the last few months, some of the name brands here you can get cheaper than a lot of other places like Land Lakes, $5.28 regular price. That's the cheapest I've seen it anywhere, regular price. They've got the Walmart uh, organic butter here, $5.98, $5.28 still for Tillamook, but Kerry Gold came down. This was $4.18, which was still a good price, $3.98. 398 for that. Oh, wait a minute. No. 427. Wait a minute though. Okay, so the brick came down and it looks like this went up because I thought this was 418 also. I don't know. I'm so confused. From what I see here, all of the cheese prices are still the same. The sliced and the shredded eight ounce packs of the great value. Uh cheese is sliced and Shredded are going to be two dollars twenty-two cents, three ninety-eight for one pound, and I believe it's seven forty-eight for these two pounders. Yeah, seven forty-eight. I'm finding some serious holes here at Walmart today. It's very unusual. Um, last time I saw this, uh, this much deli meat missing. I don't know. It's been a long time, but definitely got some holes here. I mean, they do have you know a good amount. I'm not saying that, but just used to seeing this completely full. Some of this could be things that we're seeing go away and come back at a higher price also. Because we did notice a few weeks ago their Oscar Mayer hot dogs went from $2.50 to $2.84. So that could be what's going on, maybe. Good to see they're getting some of their shrimp back in. This was very low the last time I was here. Lunch meat. Well, I don't know if you consider that lunch meat. They do have a lot of the raw shrimp in here. It's probably just come on those things. They just put them there when they're not getting it in. Got a lot of the raw shrimp here, though. Pretty decent prices on here. Check out some of the prices. I'm not going to go over all of this. I did look at the chicken. It looks like some of the stuff is all the same prices. Uh, let's see. These are... It says $3.34 a pound. Okay, so $3.48 a pound is what it says on the sticker there. And, you know, some of these, like the family packs here, they've come down a little bit. $2.68 a pound for the Tyson chicken wings and, and I'll tell you what I mean really see you're not going to get a better sale than that though and, and 268 a pound really isn't that bad of a deal really not bad at all considering how expensive these have been in the past not too distant past see this should be a dollar 27 yep dollar 27 these were a dollar 42 a pound so they have come down a little bit on the chicken about the only place you can find butterball ground turkey the only place around here anyway prices are pretty pretty expensive though 598 for a pound of the 93 percent lean well I, I don't know for butterball name brand a little more than genio i don't know some people argue that genio is the best i will say walmart is pretty loaded down here on pork which they usually are but look at these prices guys look at this 598 a pound I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Like, some of these prices are just insane. Five seventy-eight a pound for those. Five oh six a pound for these. Arguably, I mean, still way too expensive. But that's probably what I would get. I don't know. Some of these thin chops here, four twenty-seven a pound. And you know, we never see rollback offers on this stuff. We'll see it on chicken every now and then, but that's far and few between. My goodness, hamburger went up again here at Walmart. Thirty-four ninety-four. For 80% lean, 10 pounds. This has gone up like a dollar a month. And actually, it's gone up two, it was 32.76 the last time I checked. Now 34.94, that's ridiculous. Roast went up here as well. That's why we've been talking about this, guys. We've been talking about this for a long time now. You find a sale, buy it up. Buy it, you know, stop, if you got some extra freezer space, you know, we're not gonna see sales on this stuff here at Walmart, right? We saw a sale on a roast at Kroger for $4.99 a pound. You can use that coupon up to five times, that sale's over, but just an example 
and I guess I got these mixed up here. I thought it went from 767 to 797. This one here is 797 a pound. They just moved the sticker over here, so it's still the same, but for Walmart, that seems a bit extreme. These, the canned great value fruits have gone from $1.28 to $1.38, now $1.48, so they've gone up. Um, but it's been pretty spread out on those. And I will say, like, if you're gonna pay the high price of Del Monte here, every can of great value fruit I've ever bought, I've loved, arguably better than Del Monte. Now, when it comes to vegetables, you guys know I love Del Monte, but uh, yeah, the canned fruits here are just as good. And I think Kroger is, I don't know, I think they're $1.69 now. I don't, guys, these prices keep changing so much, it is hard to keep up, even with my, bit of identic memory for some of these numbers it's getting more and more difficult because everything keeps changing so fast and you know some things I don't cover for a while too still 248 for the bushes beans here these have gone up to a two dollars and 79 cents at Kroger one of our longtime viewers was saying that your Walmart was completely wiped out on beans uh, that is not the case at ours, but let me say that the prices did go up. They were 78 cents a can, now 82 cents a can. So that could be part of it, but I don't know. The more and more these prices go up on, you know, in some of the other grocery stores in the country and around the world, the more and more people are going to start uh, wiping places like Walmart out. Let's have a look at the canned vegetables, which I can already see that there is a lot more than there was the last time I was here. We saw where this was very low at the one in Indiana, but they had, like, they arguably had this much, but it's a lot bigger store, so it just kind of looked like it was really lower, but they do have plenty in here now. They got the sweet peas, all 64 cents for your regular uh, corn, green beans, peas. They are mixing different big cans and stuff like this in between, though, so... It is kind of hard to determine whether they're getting in as much as they always have, but I don't think so. I think they are getting in less, either that or they're keeping it in the back and bringing it out as they go along. You can't even get the four-pack cans of Del Monte here for $4.98 anymore. $5.28, but I do believe they are $5.99 at Kroger now. So I don't know, that's why we buy these at Sam's Club or Costco where we can still get them for under a dollar a can. Now, the same viewer who mentioned the beans was also talking about the Great Value canned tomato products. They do have uh, plenty here, actually a lot more than they had the last time. I know that canned tomatoes are sort of becoming an issue again, but we've been seeing them go up in price. We saw the Rotel go up here to $1.36, $1.50 a can at Kroger. Hunts went up as well to $1.36 here at Walmart, but they are $1.50 a can at Kroger and Meyer now. So we saw where they went up like crazy there. Still a little cheaper here on the regular price. Oh, look at this. I just noticed that Walmart's got the Hunt's pasta sauce back in. They've been out of this for a long time and they've got my garlic and herb up there. That's good to know. I stocked up on these when I they had them at Dollar Tree. I got them for $1.25 a can, but good to know that they're, they have these here. I thought they got rid of them. They do have a lot of the great value pasta sauces here as well for $1.62. Got the traditional here. Remember, these were $1.38 just a couple months ago. So another price increase here. Prego here, $2.38. That's a good regular price. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I thought this was going to be a, let's see what we can stock up on today. But really just kind of, just trying to find the best deals as we go along and make sure we're not wasting our money. Yeah, it looks like the Spice War is on. By Spice War, that would be a bit of a reference to the movie Dune, or the book if you've read it. It's a good movie. I like Dune. Can't wait for part two to come out of the new remastered remake. Look at this, though. Look at all these spices that are missing. This is crazy. Even their own. Even their own here. The ones that are $1.12. Wow. Wow. They do have a big bin of them over there, so, you know, not completely empty on these. But all these other ones here, look, they got salt, but this is all salt. I see one back in there. Got a more than salt, $1.46. $1.46, I mean, $1.59 pretty much anywhere else, but still. Let's see, their salt is $0.72. Cents. Oh, and they do have some of the iodized salt over here that is $0.72. Cents. Oh, we got some under there, okay. Still, though. 
reason why I show this is because we've been getting a lot of comments where a lot of people all across the country have had trouble finding salt. So Walmart is an option, but I don't know. We've been hearing of shortages of spices and all of this stuff. So when you see it, maybe not worry so much about the price on this. Just get one and know you have it. Checking out some of the different cooking oils here. They do have the canola oil, which, you know, these have all gone up in price. They've been this for a little while. Somebody mentioned this the other day. It's been a little while since they've gone up, but $4.24 for the canola now, uh, which used to be $3.98. And then $3.97 for the vegetable oil, which used to be $3.68. So over the last year, yeah, they've definitely gone up. We've got the 40-ounce uh, containers of Crisco here, $4.98. That's actually pretty good for a regular price, considering how expensive it's gotten uh at some other places they do have the canola here for five dollars and twelve cents just wanted to do a quick look at the sugar prices here they do still the same prices 10 pound bag 768 we saw that go up a couple months ago 324 for the four pound bag 768 for the 10 pound bag and the powdered sugar is now two dollars and 34 cents and checking out some of the canned meats here they did drop their prices on the two pack of canned chunk chicken breast for ten dollars and I noticed they dropped the four pack here to 872. That is down from 934. So yeah, it's a good deal. Keystone Meats, although they don't have as big of a selection as some of the places around here, they are a little cheaper, not by much, 50 cents cheaper on the beef. Uh, well, between Meyer, Kroger's 10.99, so a dollar cheaper than Kroger. Got the pork. Some of these have gone up here too. This was 7.92 for the pork, the same as the chicken. But now, um, now eight eighty two for the pork. But Walmart's like one of the only places I know that sells the turkey one, unless you order it online directly from Keystone. Eight eighty two for that one as well. We get a lot of comments on these tuna creation packets. Just wanted to point out they are still on a rollback offer here at Walmart for a dollar fourteen regular price, dollar forty two, which regular price is cheaper than any other regular price. Uh, and they've got the bumblebee ones here on a rollback offer for a dollar. So good deal on both of these, but I will say they're great value ones too. Whenever these aren't on a rollback on sale, I've tried a couple of these. These are all right, 96 cents piece. So if you're one of the few viewers that have commented on not being able to find some of the dry beans you like, I would give Walmart a try. However, they have pretty much gone up on, uh, up in price on every one of these. Um, yeah, I mean, it keeps getting more expensive. We knew this was going to happen. These are, believe it or not, these are some of the cheapest regular prices on dry beans we see anywhere. So Walmart's a good option for this. Plus, great value beans, always good. Now, rice, a bit of a different story. We have seen where it has been lower and lower on rice options here at Walmart. This is actually more than what they had the last, the last time I was here. It was very low. So they are getting some in, which is good to see. Um, but yeah, the options are becoming less and less here at Walmart. We get a lot of comments on uh, rice as well that it's been low or out in some of your stores across the country. So just wanted to point this out. They do have a few different options. As we continue to get closer to Lynch, we're going to start seeing some different deals. I don't know about Walmart. I don't know if it's a regular price. $8.97 for these large packs of the CPAC shrimp. These are $11.99 regular price at Kroger. So that's a pretty good deal. Well, that was our trip to Walmart. Uh, massive price increases, guys. Prices are going up on virtually everything. The produce is ridiculous. I, you know, and you could say it's in or out of season. Still, the most we've ever seen in or out of season on most things in the produce. Those mangoes for a dollar ninety-four here at Walmart. That was crazy. Onion prices uh, are about the same. Apples are, you know, look like they're getting a little more. We saw a couple rollback offers, but like on the mandarins for six ninety eight, those are going to be seven ninety eight for a five pound bag, five pound pack. When that's over, I mean, I, I I don't know, guys. Like we saw a couple things like the canned chicken come down, but not enough stuff coming down. We need to see more products come down. Egg prices are going up. I couldn't believe seeing those 12 count eggs for $3.12. That is way too much. I don't know, but those those prices have to start coming down. Um, you know, it's it's sad. You know, a lot of the things that are going up in price, I always try to come in here and give a lot of good news, but it's like when it rains, it pours. I see one thing, I see another, and then another, and another, and it's, wow, it's just, it's a, it's a bit overwhelming, a bit overwhelming, but I don't know, I guess for true minimum price, Walmart wins on regular prices. However, there's not enough sales. There's not enough rollback offers or sales 
to warrant buying a lot of the stuff that we looked at today anyway, when we can just wait for a sale at some other stores, right? Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, but prices continue to go up here at Walmart. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating seeing all this, but you know, we have to know so that we know where to shop for what things we want or need so that we don't waste our money. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out.